In this lecture, we will look at Solver. Solver is a Microsoft Excel add-in program that helps you perform what-if scenario. You provide it a certain set of data and an objective that you want to minimize or maximize. For example, minimize the cost or maximize revenue and then set some constraints based on that information. This program finds the optimal solution or the optimal values. In marketing analytics, you can use Solver to optimize your ad budgets. Let's go to Excel and take a look at how this works. In Excel here, I have advertising data on various channels. So I've got the source, which is where the ads are running, how many clicks we are getting, what we are paying per click, total cost, which is multiplication of these two numbers, and then how many conversions we are getting and what's the conversion rate, which is how many of these people who come through this campaign end up buying from us. So that's the conversion rate. And at the bottom here, we have total number of clicks from all the campaigns running across all these sources, total money that we are spending for these campaigns, and then total number of conversions that we are getting. One way to analyze this data is to report on what's happening, how many conversions you are getting, how much you are paying, etc. Another way to analyze this data is by asking a question about the cost across these campaigns. Is this the best allocation of the budget? Should we be spending 92,000 on Google? Or is it better to spend 144 on Google? These are the questions that Solver can help us answer. We will use Solver to find out how much money should we be spending on each of these sources. Next, we are going to look at how Solver works. But before we do that, I wanna make sure you have Solver activated in your Excel. In order to find out if Solver is activated or not, go to Files, scroll down, and click on Options. In Options, go to Add-ins, and this is where you will see if Solver is activated for you or not. If not, then scroll down, and where you see Manage Excel Add-ins, click on Go. In this pop-up window, you can manage all your add-ins. As you can see, I have Solver add-in already enabled. So I'm going to leave it as it is. In your case, you won't have this checkbox checked, so make sure to check it and click OK. Once you have Solver activated, it will be available in Data tab. So click on Data, and this is where you will see Solver. Before we can use Solver, we need to prep the sheet for the Solver to work. So what we are going to do is we need Solver to help us with this allocation. In order to do that, I am going to add few columns here. Those columns are the ones where Solver will work. We will leave these as it is. First thing I'm going to do is label these columns as current so we know that these are the current values. And then I'm going to add few more columns here. This is where we will run the Solver. First column I'm going to add is Solver Budget. Make it big. Another column that I am going to add is clicks. We will assume the cost per click is the same. All we are doing is letting Solver help us with the budget. And then based on that budget and cost per click, what the clicks will be. So the formula here is going to be total budget divided by cost per click. Once Solver tells us the budget, we will know how many clicks we are going to get. So let's make this also zero for now. Let's solve it, solve it. Copy these and paste them. Paste, paste, and paste. Next, I'm going to add some of this so we can get the total budget number. So I'm gonna put some. And then similarly here. And now let's format it. So we got solver budget clicks here we will assume we get the same conversion rate. And so we'll also create a column called conversions. And those conversions are going to be conversion rate times the clicks. Same formula. 
in total. Let me repeat what I just did here. So one solver is going to solve this and fill this information. Based on this budget and cost per click, we got the number of clicks. This formula is simple. How much you're spending and how much you're paying per click. So total spend divided by how much you're paying per click will be total clicks. And then you have conversions. Conversions is simply clicks time conversion rate. So those are a few things that we are going to use. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the solver. So go ahead and click on solver. In this solver window, first you have to set an objective. This is the value that you're trying to maximize, minimize, or set to a certain value. What is your objective? And let's say our objective is to maximize conversions. In that scenario, Pick the cell that has total conversion values and then select max. By changing variable cells, this is where you put the values that you're trying to change. In our case, it's the budget. So go ahead and pick these budget values. And then you have to pick certain constraints. For now, the only constraint that we will use is the budget we want the total budget to remain what it was. So this is the budget that we are looking for. Go ahead and click on add. And here we pick this value, whatever the budget solver is going to come up with, this value has to be equal to this value because we're not changing the budget. We're just trying to figure out whatever we have been spending, can we reallocate that in a better way? Once done, go ahead and click OK. Now your solver is ready. We'll touch on the other constraint later. But let's go ahead and click on Solve. When Solver finds a solution, you'll see a window that looks like this. You can keep Solver solution. If you want to see the solution, you can go ahead and move this window and you can see the solution. This solution doesn't look right because what it's doing is it's taking the budget away from Google and it's saying spend everything on Wall Street Journal if you want to maximize the conversions. We know that's not going to happen, right? Even though it's a tiny value, but that's not going to happen. Plus, we want to make sure we are spending money on other campaigns as well. We're not just giving all the money to one publisher. For now, let's go ahead and keep Solver Solution. Then we'll go back and fix these things. Click OK. And here's your solution. As I mentioned, we can't have negative number or we cannot have zeros. We want some minimum spend across these. So go ahead and click on Solver again. Now let's add some more constraints. This time the constraint is going to be that this budget number has to be greater than or equal to some value. Given that we are spending 436 across five campaigns, I'm going to put the value as minimum of 60,000 spent on each of these campaigns. So go ahead and click OK. Then you add another constraint. You have to add them one by one for each line. Greater than equal to 60,000. Add for the next line as well. I just randomly picked 60,000. You might have some business reasons to pick the values that you're going to use. Let's say you have a relationship with MSN and you want to spend at least $80,000 with MSN. In that scenario, you'll put 80,000 for MSN and similarly spread out other values for other publishers. Let's verify our constraints. Each of these line, at least 60,000, and then keeping the budget same, our objective is to increase conversions. Once satisfied, go ahead and click Solve. Solver found a solution. Click OK. And here is your solution. It's saying spend 60,000 on each of these because that's your minimum requirement. However, this campaign is the one that's performing the best. 
for conversions. So go ahead and spend remaining budget here. Now you just use the same budget, but allocate it in a different way. And look at the number of clicks. Earlier you were getting 28,000 something. Now you're getting 31,000. That's a huge increase. And similarly, conversions were 650. Now you're up to almost 692. That's a big jump. Now let's take another scenario. Say your budget is only $250,000 because your boss said we cannot do more than $250,000. We have a huge expense cut coming up and we need to minimize what we are spending. But go ahead and find me what you can do in terms of conversions that we can get on our site. In that scenario, you go back to your solver and you change this value where you said the budget remains the same Click on change and rather than this budget value equal to this budget value, we are going to say $250,000. Go ahead and click OK. Verify everything else is fine or not and go ahead and solve it. Now you got an error. Do you know why you got an error? Because we had a constraint of 60000 on each of these rows. We cannot have that because if you put 60,000 on five rows, that's 300,000. In order to fix that, we have to fix our constraint. Click OK, solve, and fix these. So let's go ahead and change this to minimum of 10,000. Ten thousand. And another constraint we are going to add is that Wall Street Journal, since it's going to get most of the budget, let's put another constraint and say you cannot spend more than fifteen thousand. Wall Street Journal, this number has to be less than 15,000. Go ahead and click OK. So we're saying everything has to be greater than 10,000 and Wall Street has to be less than 15,000. Go ahead and click Solve. It found a solution, click OK. And here is your solution. So 15,000 here, but spend a lot more on Google. And by spending 250,000, you will get 396 conversions. That's the number you can take to your boss and say, if you are going to reduce the budget to 250,000, then the conversion, the maximum conversions we can get is 396 or 395. So that's how you use Solver. You can use the similar concept for campaigns in Google Ads. Let's say in Google Ads, you have all these campaigns. These are different campaigns within Google Ads. Google Ads, gives you all these conversion numbers, total cost, and etc. You put those numbers here and go ahead and run the solver to see what you get. That way, based on these numbers, you can reallocate your budget and maximize your conversions or click save. That's what your objective is. The more you practice, the better you'll become. So go ahead and give it a try.